In case you haven't heard, robots are the future. Do you think they're the future? Are you bullish on them? Are you bullish on them as an investment? Well, have you looked into how to invest in them and add them to your growth portfolio? I'm Skylar James. Welcome back to the channel. This is the fourth of my leveraged tech ETF videos, SOXL for semiconductors, CLDL for cloud computing, and UCYB for cybersecurity. They are all already in the channel. Check them out. A shared trade on all these leveraged ETFs is that generally they aren't a group of stocks built and assembled by the leveraged ETF issuer, in this case, Direction. Rather, these leveraged ETFs are generally 2X or 3X on existing ETFs or indexes. That's good. That makes analyzing these leveraged ETFs much easier. In UBOT's case, they're offering investors two times the exposure to BOTS ETF. In case you're wondering where I'm filming from, doing research on all this robotic stuff made me want to run out to the nearest old growth forest and hike around. Oh yeah, and hunt. Hunt for mushrooms, that is. I'm looking for chanterelles, belites, and maybe the occasional magic mushroom. If you stay till the end, I'll show you how much I've harvested. So back to bots, what is it and do I want two times the exposure to it? I'll cut right to the chase. The answer is no, unfortunately, I don't. Let me tell you how I came to this conclusion. In many ways, bots was one of the first thematic ETFs to take off, a precursor to Kathy Ark's innovation fund. In 2018, people around me were using this new hip app called Robinhood and using it to buy bots because automation is coming, you know? That's the thesis. We all saw the Oxford report, automation is coming. And now I can invest in those robotic firms to stay ahead of the curve, right? The pity with bots is that it hasn't performed all that well given the promise of its story. And we're here to talk about you bot. But remember, you bot is just a leveraged form of bots. Investing in automation hasn't been easy. If we think of automation as just technology, an investor would have done much better investing in a slew of other big tech ETFs instead of bots. VGT tech as a whole, IGV software, SMH, semis, each of these broader focused funds have delivered better returns than bots. What about UBOT, you ask? Surely UBOT has delivered stronger returns than bots thanks to its overpowering leverage, right? Wrong again, not even close in fact. An investor who bought UBOT on the day it debuted in 2018 would be negative today if they were still holding. How with talk of the market only goes up and valuations are out of touch? How with that backdrop has a futuristic investing theme like robotics and artificial intelligence done so poorly. It's complicated. There are multiple reasons. First thing that jumps out to me is that the bots slash UBOT holds more industrial names than tech names. Okay, robotics, manufacturing, not a big leap, but that could explain why the tech sector has left this bots in the dust. Second, robots are being sold to replace workers, right? There has to be an economic benefit to buy a robot. Has to be a lights out, no duh financial win, for a business, a company's human workforce can be shuttled around, reassigned, ultimately terminated. Well, poor choice of words. <laughs> human workers just offer flexibility to a business. And there are new plug and play style robotics that can achieve this, but they're a new and not widely deployed yet. So reason number two is a big commitment for businesses to dive into robots. The third thing, let's take Amazon, for example. Let's say Amazon buys 100 robots at $10,000 a piece, but they need 350,000 robots. Do they keep buying robots from a third party one by one, popping up someone else's income statement? No, of course not. Amazon buys an entire robotics company. They've done this twice now. Shopify has done it too. Not everybody does this. Tesla is still using some outside robots, but the point remains that when you're trying to group together publicly traded robot robotics companies, thinking big players like Amazon will prop up demand for robots, you'd be mistaken. Amazon doesn't buy single ice cream cones. They buy the whole dairy farm. That's reason number three that robotics is kind of an icky investment right now. And the fourth reason I'm very hesitant about investing in the space, there's an obvious lack of software plays in bots and you bought an ETF called the Robotics and Artificial Intelligence ETF should have software plays in it, don't you think? Palantir, CrowdStrike, Unity. Okay, it's got C3 AI, that's a start, but 
Software drives hardware. That's what my Internet of Things buddies say. They say software drives hardware. And you sell a customer the hardware once and milk them on the SaaS for 10 years. Not only that, these software engineers are incredible. They can take hardware made by a slew of manufacturers and write software that controls it. So those are four solid reasons this thesis hasn't played out. Bots and UBOT, lean industrial, require big commitments from businesses in a field where big tech buys whole firms rather than pay for robotics. And the ETF is lacking software coverage. To me, robotics plus artificial intelligence equals automation. I don't think bots and UBOT are set up to capitalize on that. Instead, it's full of companies susceptible to inflationary pressures and companies who can't rely on Amazon as a customer and without software companies with great margins that could drive a variety of hardware. So look, I'm staying away from UBOT just like I've stayed away from bots. Of the three leveraged tech ETFs I've posted the channel already, SOXL, CLDL, and UCYB, I have no problem saying that you UBOT will be the worst performer of the bunch. If you're like me, an investor looking to profit from the AI revolution, I think semis and cloud and cybersecurity are much more true to fit examples of how to profit from next gen tech. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.